Hi, it's Hazel. Welcome to my channel, Hazel and Aka Design. This is another video in the new series I've started called Safe Time in the Craft Room. And the, uh, if you haven't seen uh, any others, the premise here is that we all have uh, figured out ways to save money. And that can be thrifting and swapping and sharing and, and begging and pleading. Um, but one thing that no one has yet figured out is how we can add more minutes and days and years to our lives. So it's up to us to figure out ways to to save time um, with the allocation of time that we've all got. So this is going to be quick because, of course, it would be oxymoronic <laughs> if I were, you know, doing long videos and kind of preaching the whole idea of saving time. So um, <coughs> this was an, this is something that I've been doing virtually since I discovered um, junk journals. And is it the best idea ever? Meh, I doubt it. <laughs> uh, does it work for me? Yeah, pretty well. Uh, how's that for a ringing endorsement? Um, I think maybe my practice has evolved a bit over time. When I had fewer things to, fewer books to deconstruct, uh, it seemed like, oh, I've got to get right in there, take them apart, separate the covers. I have a whole area downstairs that has uh, all the book covers I've ever salvaged. Um, then I, I set, like a demon, I set to fussy cutting. But you know what? If you forget to look in your fussy cutting pouches or holders or boxes or wherever one keeps them, then that is almost lost effort too. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, and then sometimes I see people doing flip throughs of journals and they're saying, oh, and I've used all the pages from the book. And I'm thinking, I don't even know where the pages from the book are. So anyway, so I had, I've been working on these for a few, for a little while, kind of as a bedtime activity as I'm watching YouTube. And so I'll just show you what I've done. Uh, maybe I'll use this one. Um, it's a typical gift book size, five and three quarters by maybe close to seven. And the reason I picked that up at all was because of certain pages that I'll show you in one second. So this was a glued book, which I don't know, I guess in some ways is, I mean, it is what it is. We don't, we don't get to choose that. Um, I'm leaving this intact. I got it out quite nicely. Um, it's got the, the glued in ribbon, so that's good. You know, it doesn't help that the cover is, well, whatever. It is what it is, again. So basically, the thing that appealed to me most in this were all these pages. So, beautiful images and a quote. Beautiful images and a quote. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful images and quotes. So my first intention wa was to remove all of these. And I got them out pretty well intact. Now, what I do with them next is not entirely clear to me. With a glued-in page, of course, we always have the option of, you know, doing, um, you know, hinging things to make a folio or you know, um, doing a, a tip in or whatever, a fold out. Um, I think because they're a good size and because the images, both the images and the quotes are good, I'm probably not going to separate them. I'll leave them intact. But now this, I know this is what I have to work with. There were also a few of these sort of chapter pages. And again, uh, faith, family, friendship, those are all concepts we can get behind. So, you know, uh, what, what is she saying in the 
second line. Oh, that's the title page. Um, so these are great either as collage or, you know, to cut out the word or whatever. These are the end papers, which are lovely in themselves. Oh, these are also not end papers, but I guess fly papers. And they're, you know, perfect as they are. And then this, I would probably, <coughs> excuse me, I'd probably cut that top part off and use it in some fashion. Oh, didn't even see this. So maybe I'd choose this size in, side instead. Anyway, so I've got, again, I've got those kinds of things that I know for sure I have a use for. Um, it, it takes more space, obviously, to store things in their books, um, in their covers, I mean, but I guess we'll see about that. And then this is just the rest of the pages. And it's text, and I guess the paper, you know, the paper is adequate. I uh, think that I will, I don't know that I'm so enamored with them, but there are probably some words, sentiments, uh, that need to be salvaged. You know, now, again, I have a system for how I very broadly sort sentiments into categories. Only a mother can do. You are meant to live. So some of these are, you know, would be great in, in certain situations. Grace, your power. So, you know, there is, I guess, that, that one further step I can do. So what I, well, why don't I just do it? Uh, again, I try to, I make it as quick as I can, which means tearing, and I try to do it bigger than I think I need it, so that regardless of where, whether I want to cut, or fussy tear, or ink, or whatever, I haven't, um, you know, eliminated an option. And it's not going to be a good use of your time to watch me do this. So I'll just show you another example and stop right in my tracks. So these will not be stored with this because there's no need for that. And I'm not likely to ever remember to look at it. This is another gift book. And, and again, I like buying these typically because... They're almost never read or even sometimes they're written in, in uh, you know, in terms of uh, an inscription. Um, but most of the time they're perfectly intact. I've had them in the past and I know that in one case I cut off all these borders. Uh, now these are a series of quotes, so, you know, that could be salvaged as well. Again, it could be a flip out. It was also a glued book. Um, now, have I used all the strips that I cut off previously? Of course not. Like, <laughs> like so, you know, would I do that again? Meh, maybe not. Now, this pile has images that, like, okay, in this case, I'd probably cut or tear that at an angle, and maybe she'd be a, a corner tuck. Um, uh, what you might call it, decoration. This I could fold back to reinforce as a pocket. You know, I'd want to get rid of that text or have a plan for covering it up. But that's not a bad pocket size. Um, something like this, you know, he could be become a belly band if I cover up that text. I mean, you guys know what to do with pages, so there's no big mystery there. Um, okay, so that takes me up to there. Then this bunch is 
um, sort of full page um, images that, you know, obviously are very sweet and could be uh, hinged or fussy cut or whatever. So there's a whole section of those. Again, you know, something like this could be a pocket. The words in these frames are also really nice. So that's another possibility. If I decide, okay, like on this one, it's not a full page image. So it's easy enough to, you know, trim this down to pocket size or, or back it and make it a journaling card, cut out the little frame at the top and even use it right, right there to keep things really simple. So again, bunch of, you know, very useful images. And pretty well one-sided. Or, or if there was a choice, hmm, if there was a choice, I've chosen the side I prefer and left it facing up so that you know, I don't have to think about that again. Then the rest of these all have the same theme, people reading. So there are several of these because, of course, this was a title page. This is a credit page. Um, oh, since I have three of these. Oh, no, they're not identical. These two are identical. Since I have uh, two of these, I'd probably also use that. And depending, you know, one of my larger punches might work. So that's just another way to, to shake things up a bit. But in all oh, end papers, I keep all my end papers in a couple of file folders in my legal sized filing cabinet because some books are, uh, of course, are, are bigger in size. So I have the plain ones, so to speak, like, you know, the white or cream or whatever, solid colors in one file folder and the patterned ones in another. So I'll put that away. Um, all the rest of these are images of people reading. And I think because I got some new pouches lately, I will uh, put these. I know I have some more of these somewhere, but who knows at this moment where. So I will, you know, I'll start again to get organized and I'll put all of these reading images together. So that's what I'll do with that one. And, you know, I'm sure I'll be taking this cover and that other one I showed you down and putting it uh, with the other book covers. Now I'll just end on this one. This is a tinier book. Um, four by three and a quarter roughly. And this tiny thing is sewn in, which makes the deconstruction even easier. Let me find the center. And I think probably most people that are watching this video will have have experience in deconstructing or removing signatures, so I'm not going to go into any detail there. But, you know, you find the center, snip the, the thread, and you're good. So these are, you know, this is obviously a different style than the other two books I've shown you in terms of font and illustrations and, and aesthetic, but that doesn't mean that these quotes won't be perfect in some sort of a, a context. So um, I will probably just remove these and add these folios to another uh, drawer um, that I have where I keep tiny page folios. And that, I believe, is all I have to say about that. So I hope this has been of some use to you. Um, let's bring this one back in. I, uh, I welcome your, uh, your subscriptions, your likes, your comments, 
And particularly, I mean, I always want to hear from you, but particularly in this uh, series, I would very much like to hear whatever um, time-saving uh, strategies you may have that haven't occurred to me uh, or perhaps other people's. So it would be great if you could share that with us. I very much appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that you are um, taking time to do what you love. And um, I've noticed that a couple of my um, buddies on YouTube have a, a sign off. Uh, Angela, the uh, traveling crafter has a great one. I wish I'd have thought of that first. Um, take time to just be. Because really, uh, that is kind of, you know, the whole purpose of our existence, to be. And contrary to what some of us have believed most of our lives, um, being, just being, is enough reason. We have value just because we exist. Uh, we don't have to meet any production quotas. We don't have to do anything other than simply be. So um, I love that one. And uh, Carrie, the paper monkey, says, uh, you know, whatever you're doing today, she hopes that, that some of it is uh, time spent, you know, crafting and doing what one loves. So that's another good piece of advice. I think that um, I have one that maybe I'm going to start using. <laughs> Years ago, I had a sign that said, and this, this was right up my alley, <laughs> just <laughs> personified uh, the state of my life. I, and actually remember when those message board things with the removable letters came out? I've had that hanging on my off or my studio wall here for years. Um, so my sign off, I think, is going to be a creative mess is better than tidy idleness. I used to say that uh, there will be some women who will end up, whose headstones will end up saying, she kept a nice house. Um, I always aspired to something more than that. Didn't want to spend uh, <laughs> the best years of my life uh, cooking and cleaning um, because I always thought I was destined for more. So I guess my more is uh, creating a creative mess. So anyway, thanks so much for, for joining me today and uh, know that you are appreciated. Bye.